Living 808 Lounge, and today we're getting an update on Puna Geothermal Venture, and joining us with all the details on that is Mike Kalekini. He's Senior Director, Hawaii Affairs at Puna Geothermal Ventures, or Matt. Aloha. Aloha, Kelly. Hi, Mike. Okay, so I know there's been a lot going on, but can you tell us what's been happening at the Puna Geothermal Venture facility and maybe provide an overview of the power plant facility? Yes, I'd be uh, happy to do so. Thank you. Yeah, so so Puna Geothermal Venture, which is an ORMAT company, we have been in commercial operation since 1993. Yeah, so we're located right outside of Pahoa Town, District of Puna, Hawaii Island, about 21 miles south of Hilo. So we are a power generating company. We have a contract with Hawaiian Electric to provide 38 megawatts of clean, renewable geothermal energy. So as most folks know, in 2018, the Kilauea eruption occurred and we shut down for a period of time. Um, but prior to the eruption, PGB was contributing up to 31% of all the energy to the Hawaiian electric grid. So we came back online in November of 2020. And uh, just a little factoid, uh, since 1993, the amount of renewable energy that was delivered, has been delivered by PGB, displaced the need to burn over 141 million gallons of oil. Wow, that's absolutely incredible. And, and speaking of good news and, and moving forward, the Hawaii Public Utilities Commission actually approved a power plant agreement that allows PGV to repower its existing facility. So can you tell us a little bit more about that and, and the partnership and the agreement? Sure, I'd be happy to. So yeah, in, in March of 2022, the State Public Utilities Commission, the PUC, uh, conditionally approved an amended and restated power purchase agreement. Uh, this agreement was submitted by Hawaiian Electric uh, after negotiating with uh, PGV and ORMAT. Yeah, so one of the conditions though is that PGV needs to perform an environmental review mm -hmm. prior to doing any construction. Yeah, but, but speaking of the actual proposal, the benefits that would be result uh, out of this is that the pricing of the new contract will all be dealing from oil so all a fixed price there will not be any escalation for the duration of the term of the contract yeah. and so the contract would also the terms would be extended uh, the current contract would be terminated in 2027 however the new agreement will take us out to 2052 and of course, 2045 is when we want to be at 100% renewable energy, right? So um, in addition to those um, improvements, um, the agreement will allow PGB to decommission the existing older generating units and replace them with three more modern generating units with several improvements. Uh, number one, it will be a smaller footprint. There will be less rotating equipment which means less noise, which means less potential emission sources. And the best part of it is that the three new units that are replacing the 12 older units will be able to generate eight more megawatts with the same amount of geothermal resource that we're using today for the 38 megawatts. Wow, that's so exciting and, and just amazing in terms of the progress that we're making towards Hawaii's clean energy future and sustainability. You know, you were talking about the state's goal and this is definitely going to help us get there. So really neat stuff. Now, now you mentioned a little bit ago, though, the environmental review requirements. There are some before you start building. So can you elaborate on what those requirements are? Definitely. Yeah. So we are in the early stages of performing uh, an environmental impact study. So ORMAT has decided that the EIS, environmental impact study, is the, is the best uh, way to proceed. So we're in the early stages of that process. Uh, we're actually in a public scope, excuse me, the public scoping period, which is a 30-day period. And part of that is to have a public meeting so the public scoping meeting is scheduled for next week, Wednesday, August 17th. It starts at 5 p.m. It'll be held in Pahoa at the Pahoa Neighborhood Facility. Yeah. And so anyone interested in participating, you have opportunity to comment, 
If you need to know more information about the process and more details, all of this information can be found at our website, punageothermalproject.com. Perfect. And again, that's PunaGeothermalProject.com. We'll have a link to their website on our website at kh12.com under the Living 808 tab so you can find out more about the event as well as Puna Geothermal Ventures. But thank you so much, Mike, for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Yep. Aloha. Thank you for having me.